Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you how you can download the available messages from AWS SQS service and save them in a CSV file. So let's start. Here I have created this SQS by the name try to catch and SQS type is standard and we have right now available messages as 20 right and uh, we need to access this uh, SQS so we need this URL right so I am going to copy this and okay so we will do it later so these are the configuration details of SQS so you can just have a look we will discuss all these about uh, uh, in uh, future videos right so for now uh, we need this URL and we need to remind the available messages 20 right now I'm going to my PyCharm and here I'm going to create SQS file so new Python file and I'm naming it as SQS and I need to import photo 3 module right like this and now I am going to access the SQS service so for that uh, SQS equals to voto3 dot client and here I am going to access SQS service right now uh, if uh, now here you can just uh, define your secret key and uh, access key also and the region name if you don't have your SQS uh, which you have created into your default region then you can give the region name here so for that I'll just show you how you can do that so we have a parameter name region name and here you can define your region and then here you can define your access key and AWS key like AWS we have the parameter so you can just uh, AWS access key ID and then you have AWS secret uh, access key right so here you can define your access key and secret key if it's not configured in your local system right so for now it is configured in my local system so I'm going to just remove it and how you can configure all these AWS details so I have another video for that so you can just go over there and look at it I have given the link in the description box right so in this line we are accessing the SQS object right now we need to access the SQS so for that here I am going to access SQS so we have a method for that uh, receive message and here we have a argument which is Q URL and here we need to pass that URL of SQS so I'm going to copy and pasting it here and we have another attribute name is attribute attribute names right so here here uh, this is the list and here you can define the types of the SQS messages which you want to access so right now I am having all and now I am saying it into Q Q object right so let me just format it yes so like this we are accessing the Q and we are getting all the available messages into our Q object right now let's print this Q and let's see what we are having uh -huh, what is happening yeah and now I'm going to run it so let's see what we will get 
okay so we are getting error okay so i have given the name and here it should be names so run it again so yes we got the response so here we have this dictionary and in dictionary we have a, a key message and we have all the message id right so this is the thing and uh, here you can see body so in body we have hello right so i have uh, given the message as hello in my sqs and these are the things which you can use later right so now i am going to access the message so here i am going to have q dot get messages uh, like this and let's see what we will get so now we are getting a list of messages right now i am going to create a loop for this for message in messages like this and from message i am going to get the body right let's have it and run it so we have hello so here you can see we have only one message as hello but we have 20 messages in queue like i show you here right so why it is coming less so i'll show you uh, in the document of sqs okay so uh, client and we have this receive messages right so here it is mentioned uh, where it is uh, yeah here if the number of messages in the queue is small fewer than 1000 you most likely get fewer messages than you requested per receive message call right if the number of messages in the queue is extremely small you might not receive any messages in a particular receive message response right so this is the thing so we must have a uh, greater than 1000 uh, messages so that we can have all the messages of the sqs so right now we have only 20 so that is why it is giving us only one so here we have another parameter which is like i show you what was that uh, yeah here max number of messages so by defining this it will take out only the maximum number given here and the maximum number is 10 right you can't have more than 10 because in a single request it will just pull out the 10 records maximum so if i'll just give the uh, 11 then let's see what we will have so yes here we are getting error invalid parameter value when calling the receive messages value 11 for parameter max number of messages is invalid reason must be between 1 and 10 if provided right so if we are using max number of messages then we should have the number in between from 1 to 10 and maximum is 10 right so i am going to run it let's see how much uh how many messages we are getting yes we are getting four right so again i am running it let's see now we are getting three i am going to run it once again again we are getting three so like this uh, you may vary with the uh, number of the messages as per your uh, execution right so till now we got the messages right now we we need to save it to the csv file right 
So for that, what we need to do, uh, I am going to create a list, data list, and appending all the messages which we are getting here, right? And now I am going to create a dictionary. Why I am doing so? I'll just let you know. So here data and here I am passing the data list. So why I have used this? Because we are going to create this CSV file by using the panda module. Sorry, import pandas as pd. Right. So here I am going to have pd dot data frame and here I am passing the dictionary right and this is the data frame object and tf dot to csv we have a method and here I am giving the file name sqs messages dot csv and I am doing the index as false so that we don't have the column right so this is also done so I'm going to run it let's see if we are getting the CSV file or not okay so process is finished so where it is okay so let me just sync up sync and where it is sqs messages okay 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 so here it is yeah so i'm going to just open it so yes we are having this header and we are getting the four messages so i'm just going to run it again let's see how many messages we got so right now we are getting only one so this will vary as per your execution right Another thing, if you really have the uh, length of the messages in the SQS is uh, lesser than 1000 and you want all of them. So what you need to do, just you need to check the length of this message every time you are requesting the messages from SQS. So whenever it will reach to your the exact length of your available messages, then you can exit from the loop. Only by this way, you can have all the messages lesser than the 1000 so friends like this way you can have all the messages from your sqs if it is greater than 1000 then you will have all the messages if it is lesser than 1000 then you will uh, get the lesser or equals to the maximum number of your sqs available in your sqs service so friends that's it for this video i am going to make it more dynamic for you guys having runtime arguments and handle some more messages in millions so I am going to share this on GitHub also and the link will be in description box. So friends, I hope you like the efforts. If yes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.